Conservatives unveiled our plan to build the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion to the public yesterday. Our plan addresses all of the risks to build this pipeline. That's right. The Liberals have a choice. They could continue to delay this project and, in doing so, continue their record of failure. Or they can follow the Conservatives' plan, use every tool available to them right. to get this pipeline built. When will the minister start doing his job, get Canadians back to work, and get the, the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion project underway? Mr. Speaker, what they announced yesterday was the reputation of a decade of failure, which is to ignore the direction from the courts, ignore and disregard the courts, disregard the environment, and disregard the consultation with Indigenous peoples. If they follow the proper procedure, Mr. Speaker, they might have put, probably would have built a pipeline to get our resources to the global market. 99% of our oil is sold to one customer, which is the United States, Mr. Speaker. We need to diversify our natural resources market, and we're going to do that in a proper right way. Honourable Member for Foothills. Pipeline companies invest billions of dollars in consultants and environmental assessments, and that is just to table their proposal. They made these investments under Conservative governments because they knew Conservatives would champion That's these right. projects. But under the Liberal watch, not one single major piece of oil infrastructure has been proposed, and that is in three years. When will the Liberals understand that their failed policies are not getting one inch of pipeline built? When will they do their job, get the Trans Mountain do Pipeline job. expansion right moving? Right on. Right on. Right on. Mr. Speaker, I think uh, it will be beneficial for the member to understand that the decision made in 2014 to exclude from the NEB the review of the marine shipping and its impact on the environment was done under the Harper government. Oh. And the court has been very clear that that was the wrong decision to make. We are going to correct that. We have directed the NAB to consider the impact of the marine shipping on the marine environment, and we're going to move forward on this project in the right way because we understand that creating jobs and protecting the environment go ahead.